Our next story tonight comes from Japan and before I dive into the details, I want to warn you. This story will leave you shocked, appalled, perhaps even dejected because it is an indicator of where we're headed as a society. Do you know what people in Japan are doing? They're killing their parents. They're murdering the elderly. Why? Because they can't take care of them. There's a term for it, caregiver fatigue. So exhausted are the young in Japan that they're killing their parents. Japan is now grappling with high rates of carer killings. I'm not exaggerating. Reports suggest that Japan's healthcare system is at breaking point. The pandemic put a lot of stress on healthcare workers all over the world. But in Japan in particular, the situation is far worse. It's not news that a record 29.1% of Japan's population is now above retirement age. But a new study says every eight days in the decade to 2021, an average of one elderly person was killed by a family member. Let that sink in. The study finds that young family members are killing a relative they were forced to care for in their old age. And later, the killer would commit suicide. Like I said, this story is morbid, to say the least. Caregiver fatigue is leading people to murder their own family. This fatigue was compounded during the pandemic, where the elderly required special care, immediate attention. And as we saw globally, when healthcare failed during the pandemic, it was a family which had to look after their own. What would otherwise be a task born out of love or duty is now an obligation in Japan. Here are some alarming statistics. The author of this study used media sources to identify 443 deaths in 437 cases of murder or suicide, specifically among the elderly. Among the deaths in the 10 years to 2021, 13 cases involved a sibling killing a brother or sister. Seven involved a grandchild killing a grandparent. Children of the elderly carried out 206 attacks. Why? because they couldn't bear the burden of looking after their parents. Let me recount some incidents. Last week, the police in Tokyo arrested an 86-year-old man. He had strangled his ailing 81-year-old wife with his bare hands. He was too tired of looking after her, he said. His sons were at work when their father strangled their mum. There have been more cases, more incidents of ailing parents abandoned on park benches. The elderly left to die in the cold, scammed of their life savings even. We've all heard about Japan's growing population, where one in ten is now 80 years or older. The country's birth rate continues to drop and the elderly are being killed because they're considered a burden too heavy to bear. It gets worse. The study says that there are likely many more undocumented incidents related to stress. What stress? The stress of looking after a sick relative. The emotional toll of looking after an ailing spouse, a sick grandparent, an unwell uncle. So, the easiest way to solve this problem? Kill them. Have you heard of the term ubasute? It is an ancient and rare practice in Japan. Some call it mythical. The elderly were taken to the mountains and abandoned. They were dumped in a forest and left to fend for themselves because there was not enough food for them. But this modern murder is playing out right before our eyes now. We on World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.